What's good with y'all? It's Cameron in the video. Straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Make sure that you join the Discord as well. The link is going to be right down in the description. We got great community in there, great tips. We just hit over a thousand or 2,000 members. So, you know what I mean? It's going strong. We lit up in the Discord, bro. So, make sure that you join. Link is going to be in the description, bro. You'll get all the notifications if YouTube don't want to send them out. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into today's video, bro. This one is going to be another banger, bro. This is a method that you can really use on any woman, bro. So, check this out. Everyone wants to be able to attract the best looking girls and all that you know what i'm saying you probably tired of you know you on tinder swiping right on on threes and fours you're the only one you only get matches with threes and fours and stuff like that and in real life the only girls that approach you the only girls that give you the time of day is also threes and fours and fives bro but let's just be honest bro no matter who you are whether you an average looking dude a great looking dude a below average looking dude you want the best looking women possible bro and what you got to understand is that you know, it's okay to want that, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, you know, live within your means and stuff like that. It's okay to go for a girl that's outside of your league. You know what I mean? Quote, unquote. I say this because you can always improve your attractiveness levels to an extent. You know what I'm saying? It's not super duper strict. But everyone wants to get the best looking woman possible, bro. But the problem is that not everyone knows how to do it. Because we've been under this influence, under this, you know, this mask of thinking that we have to spit game to girls or that we have to have great game or great riz or whatever in order to pull a woman, bro. And that's just not the case simply, bro. Game is not even like a real thing. What you have to understand is that game and like talking to girls is only good for like building that tension. You know what I mean? But if she already don't like you, if she's already not attracted to you, already not interested in you, then understand that no amount of game, no amount of talking to her is actually going to raise her interest levels in you. Now, on the surface level, this might look like, oh man, like, woe is me. Like, I'm a average looking guy. So I obviously not have, I have no chance. You know what I mean? Because I'm an average looking guy. I don't stand out at all. But you can actually stand out very much, even if you are an average looking dude. And this is the way that you can do it, bro. The problem is that so many guys put women so high on their priorities list that every time you see a girl you have to go approach her in fact if she's super duper attractive bro you're gonna be like dang like look at her look at her you know what i'm saying take this and throw it away make women last on your priorities list and start ignoring them that is how you pull attractive women in fact the more attractive she is the more you need to ignore her i will repeat the more attractive she is the more you need to ignore her because the thing is that the only way to attract the best looking women, I'm talking nines and tens, girls that look great, is to ignore them. Unless you look like a supermodel yourself, that is the only way you're going to get their attention. Because what happens with these nines and tens, these girls that are super great looking, they're probably super popular in school, probably celebrities or something like that. Maybe they got blue check marks or they get hit up by dudes with blue check marks and stuff like that. Only way you're going to get them is to make them chase you. But they're not going to chase you nine times out of ten because they have an ego. And when women have a big ego, they tend to, they tend to pick up this thinking, this idea, this line of thought that guys are always going to be uh, chasing them. No matter what he looked like, no matter what he does, guys are always going to be chasing her. That is the that is the mindset that most of these women are developing, especially when they're super duper attractive. Because when they're super duper attractive, they don't have to try. Women don't have game, fellas. You got to understand that. They don't have to try. They get hit up in their DMs. They get text messages. They're not like you and me, okay? The game to them is super duper easy because dudes are just coming, 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 coming. But the way that you can get into, into that fold, the way that you can get her to notice you and be attracted to you is by completely ignoring her and putting her last in your priorities list bro all right so for example let's say that you at school with this girl you know what i mean and y'all got like some mutual friend groups or something like that you know what i mean so you might be around each other you might see her every now and then do not give her the time of day when i say ignore her i mean literally ignore her bro act as if she does not exist do not talk to her do not look at her any type of way because the problem is that when women have big egos they think that every single thing that you do is you trying to hit on them because that is just what they are used to that is what they think that you are trying to do you know what i mean it's been mad times when i was just talking to a girl on just like some cool stuff like not even just literally making regular small talk because it's awkward to just stand there and be completely still and silent and they think that i'm spitting game to them because i asked them how their day was going or like oh like you know you see the laker game you know what i mean they think that you're flirting with them every second of the day so give these women absolutely zero time a day give them absolutely no attention literally last on their priority priorities list bruh okay and when you do this what you'll start to notice is that when you around these girls that are super duper attractive and and super high in status and stuff like that they will start to crave your attention why because that's what they live off of they can't live without attention from every single dude so if you're not giving her that attention you're looking the other way bruh even if you're an average looking dude
do. She's going to try in her power to do everything that she can to attract you. She's going to try and do everything. She's going to start talking to your homies. She's going to start uh, acting a certain way out in public. She's going to start asking you certain things. She's going to start bringing you into the conversation. She'll do different little things to try and get you to talk to her, try and get you to chase her. But no matter what she does, look, if she talks to you, you can talk back or whatever the case may be. But when it comes to these type of women that are super duper attractive, do not speak unless spoken to. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I understand that a lot of y'all are like, well, Cam, if I ignore these girls, then they're just going to ignore me back. Well, that's somewhat true. Understand that she still has to choose you to some extent. You still have to be around her, right? So you still have to be in the same, you know, social setting. You got to be at the party with her. You got to be around her at the club. You have to be near her. She has to be able to recognize what you look like. I understand that attractiveness levels are still very much important. They're never, they're never not important. Or I don't care if you red pill, blue pill, whatever pill you are. I don't care what you think game you have, whatever. If you're not an attractive dude, none of it is going to work. A lot of, oh, well, what if you're funny? What if you're funny? That's the biggest cap ever bro girls do not care if you are funny or not bro they laugh at guys that look good to them bro they laugh at guys that look good to them i'm telling you bro don't try and be that funny dude bro don't try and be the funny one they're liking attractive dudes so obviously you have to you can't just be butt ugly so i'm just, I'm just being real with y'all but if you ignore her if you ignore her you at the same time won't have to be this supermodel great looking guy because now she'll be craving your attention. She'll be like, oh, well, who does he think he is, right? It's like a celebrity complex. It's like a, It's like a thing where it's like, wow, this person's not talking to me, which means that they must think that they're better than me. This is what she's thinking. He must think that he's better than me. Who does he think he is? I'm like, I'm gonna try and get him to chase me now. That's exactly the game that you want them to play. See, that's what game really is. Game is being able to make a woman play the game in her own mind. So that way she tries to do things so that you, you could chase her whole time. You're never really chasing her and she's chasing you whole time, but she's not even knowing that she's chasing you. She's thinking that she just needs to do more to step it up to try and get your attention. You see what I'm talking about now? I should warn y'all, even though this is how you attract these type of women, you should never date them seriously because since they run off of attention all the time, they're always going to want another guy's attention and another guy can steal your girl. If this is your girl and you know what I mean? And, and she's super duper attractive and she got an ego, bro, understand that that ego is going to stop you from having a great relationship because another guy is going to do the same exact thing and she's going to chase his attention and she's going to end up with him so don't take these girls super seriously you know what i mean don't like these are not marriage material girls but i'm just telling y'all how it is if you want to attract a, a super attractive girl bro this is what you do you ignore her to the best of your abilities you put her at the bottom of the list obviously you have to be in the same area same vicinity you know what i mean have mutual friends whatever the case may be she has to see you obviously but when she sees you you give her no time of day and this works for text messaging when you out at the club right if you out at the club out at a party bro your priority should be dancing chilling with the homies and just you know what i mean just having a good grand old time bro it shouldn't be this girl stop looking at her so much literally stop looking at her bro that that's the biggest problem dudes you be looking 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 stop looking at her bro she's not going anywhere she's just another attractive girl that's how you have to think about it she's not some super special stop prioritizing stop pedestalizing her bro stop pedestalizing her because that's what every guy is doing bro bring her two notches down bro put her last in your priorities list the more attractive she is, the more important it is for you to do this. Now, understand that when you want text message, it's the same thing, bro. You know what I mean? Maybe you get into a talking stage with a girl that's super duper attractive. Or you just get into a talking stage with a girl at all. Whatever. You like her. Understand that it's not a thing where like you see her text and then like, oh, I'm going to wait an hour. I'm going to wait 10 hours. No. What you should be doing is you should be using this time that you're ignoring her, using your priorities to, to do other things, right? Because I said she's last on your priorities list, right? Top on your priorities list should always be some form of self-improvement, whether that's getting closer to God, whether that's lifting, whether that's, you know, doing schoolwork, whatever. You should be spending your time doing these other things. And when you get a chance to talk to her, then you get a chance to talk to her. It is what it is. You know what I mean? And if you get a chance to hang out with her, then you get a chance to hang out with her. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But you should never be chasing validation, chasing her her hanging out with you chasing her text back never none of that bro always last on our priorities list this is the only way to pull any woman with any level of ego 
any woman with every any with any woman that's really above a six or a seven bro this is the only way that you're going to effectively pull her by ultimately ignoring her bro and stiff arming her and denying her that attention and validation so that she comes and chases you because she has an ego and in her brain she's not enough and she's always always trying to improve but now she's trying to improve to get your attention and eventually what's going to happen is she's going to start getting attached to you and getting feelings because that's just the nature of how human beings work bro really honestly Honestly, this isn't even like this is this is this is really like a very simple tactic bro this is very simple bro because ultimately what you have to remember is that people love attention in general right but especially women and especially attractive women because that's what they get used to all of their life bro all right that's what you got to understand so now what you got to understand too is this bro when it comes to um when it comes to when it comes to like Wait, fuck, what was I gonna say? Shit, what was I gonna fucking say? Oh, yeah, okay. Now, when it comes to the way that you should carry yourself, bruh, when I say ignore her and put her last on your priorities list, bruh, it's not just a front. It shouldn't just be a front like, oh, I'm just going to put her last on my priorities list so that I can get this woman. The reason why she should be last on your priorities list is because first on your priorities list should be other things that involve, you know, self-improvement and stuff like that. It should be other things that involve you getting better with your life and stuff like that. You have to change your self-image. The reason why a lot of guys do this thing where they feel like they have to impress this girl, they feel like they have to talk to her, they feel like they have to do this and this and that to in order to get this girl's attention is because they feel like they themselves are not enough. And when you feel like you yourself are not enough, then it's kind of like it's easy to fall into that trap of pedestalizing these girls pedestalizing these women that don't need to be pedestalized and stuff like that but if you can actually place yourself in a better position and start to see yourself as a better person then you won't do this you won't fall into this trap see understand that the way that you treat women is a direct correlation it is in direct correlation with your mind and how you view yourself right so if you treat a woman like a simp bro, right, and you just sitting here constantly oh like look at this girl look at that girl you constantly looking at women and you constantly looking for their validation what that tells me right there is that you're not secure with yourself and that you feel like you are not uh uh you feel like you're just not worthy you feel like you're just some kind of lowly regular dude because that's what regular average dudes do they simp over women bro they simp over women because they feel as if the, the mentality that you have is like oh i have to shoot my shot i have to do this because if i don't then she she won't recognize me she won't notice me oh my gosh i have to do this i have to stand out i have to act out i have to that's why a lot of dudes is class clowns they class clowns because they feel like they have to act out in order to get attention but the reality of it is that the less hard you try the more you just lay back and just and be confident with yourself and be confident that people are gonna like you for you then ultimately the better your life is gonna be the better quality your life is gonna be but you don't have to worry about none of that because you're just gonna be chilling laying back you're not gonna be sitting here trying to trying to figure out plots and plans to to to, to get to these girls and stuff like that bro so i'm telling you ignore them ignore them and they will always 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 come to you bro all right so that's all i got for y'all today i hope you enjoyed today's video i love you money man peace